When looking for RC products on the web, check out rcdeal.com. This segment is sponsored by rcdeal.com. Hi, DJ at Offner Racing. Here to show you a new 2011 car, uh, many, one of many of the cars that we have for 2011. Of course, it is a one A scale buggy. Um, we have short course in the lineup for 2011, but now we have our first 1A scale. We're going to show you the brand new 1A scale Hyperstar Nitro Buggy. Of course, uh, an electric version will be on its way also, but as the first kit we get will be the Nitro. So we'll open this up and show you that it is a now a full kit that you're going to have to build, not an 80 percenter. So as we get into this box and show you what it's all about, you're going to see that it is completely broken down. Um, you're going to have to assemble it from the very first screw down to the last screw all the way through the chassis and of course putting your electronics and your engine and um, gluing some tires. So we'll get in here and we'll show you what's in the kit. Of course your decal bags are your decals, uh, window mask for the clear body and, and uh, the antenna that comes with it. And you're going to have tires in here. Of course these are our Ofna L-Block tires, our Hobal tires. And if you look at these tires when you break them down, they're going to come with our molded foam inserts. Of course, um, they've been pretty popular for us, so we've been selling quite a few of them. A lot of people like them, um, that they're solid across and that they're not too hard uh, versus some of the other competitors. So a uh, good tire that we have there. Uh, we'll take these tires out and we'll put these over here on the ground. The other thing too is, of course, dish wheels, Hobal's dish wheels that come in the kit. They'll be four in the pack themselves. Uh, so you have to worry about them. High impact wheels made for the Hyperstar and of course all the other Hyper uh, products that are out there in A-Scale. The Clear Lexan body, of course that is still uh, just like its predecessor before, um, the Hyper 9. It is the same actual body with the cooling in the back um, and also the hole already pre-cut for the tilted engine. Of course this is already a pre-stamped body ready to go. You just got to mask the windows down and paint it up and put it on your car. All right. We won't get into tearing the whole bag out of the car, but we'll just show you what's in the bag itself. So of course, everything is uh, complete in here. The bags themselves are numbered. Um, you can see in here some of the numbers on the bags themselves. Of course, 14 showing on the wing. Um, everything is completely broken down. The diffs themselves, so you can put your choice of silicone oils. Um, your air filter, you'll have to pre-oil those up. Um, bearings, grease, um, small tools, silicone oil will come in there also. Are ready to go of course um, there's some thread lock in there too um, and like I said the bags are numbered in there from 9 to I could see about 15 bags so far in here uh, completely from start to finish of course it's showing the chassis itself and like we'll show the bag through there um, that is uh, bag number 13 of course uh, with the Hyperstar logo already etched onto the chassis this is a full black anodized chassis from top to bottom and it also is lightened it is a four millimeter thick chassis uh, along with this kit, of course, is PBS, 17 millimeter shocks, uh, spider diffs from the center to the front, a standard diff on the rear. Um, there's a lot of new design changes. Of course, uh, chassis braces, they're CNC, and you also have the option of going back to the plastic. They come in the bag themselves, um, and those will be cut for you, um, ready to go on that. Uh, the one-piece molded wing design, of course, there is an option available for that. The 17 millimeter shocks, um, of course, those are hard anodized uh, and a hard coated finish on them. And the uh, other new part of it, of the car, of the Hyperstar, is the PBS front suspension on it. It will have the B-type rear suspension, new shock towers front and rear, and those will be hard anodized along with new. Uh, sway bars. So we'll get into moving this bag to the side and we'll show you a fully assembled car and get closer details of the car. All right. Hyperstar, of course, there's a body already painted on it. We show it just for a demo display. Engine's already mounted in there with 25 degrees of engine tilt on there and the one piece molded wing, high impact wheels with the L block tires and molded inserts. As we pull the body off and we get in here, we're going to get into the specifics of the car. Of course, the front suspension itself will have a lot of detail changes versus the Hyper 9. You're going to notice that it has your 17 millimeter shocks from the very get-go versus 14 millimeters on the very first generation Hyper 9. 
Um, your pillow ball front suspension, of course, if I turn one angle to the other, you're going to notice a full pillow ball suspension with a universal um, for the drivetrain. Um, the biggest thing on this is the pillow ball itself. The ball is hard coated along with a steel stem, so it keeps a lot of the dirt. Um, it'll keep it nice and smooth from dirt flying in, dusting it up, or breaking it down. It'll have a lot longer lifetime during the race uh, settings. Uh, the Universal itself, of course, uh, with the standard bearings now, uh, 8 by 16 bearings, no more difficult uh, times trying to find certain bearings for the car. The steering knuckle itself, if you can notice in the back where the steering linkage is at, it's actually captured back here. So now, instead of the, the links popping off, it is captured from the inner center link on the steering to the outside of the steering knuckle itself. Of course, there's a angled on it feature on there for the long travel, so when the car rises up, it doesn't bind. Of course, when it also down travels too, no binding to that situation. So that is a new thing that was on the feature of it. Of course, the shock tower itself and the new angled sway bars, so that when you put uh, boots on here, of course, that will be an option. It won't bind off the boots themselves. The sway bars have a nice bend to them and they go over the universal so they don't cause any rub in, in the case of a violent crash or so. Of course, the predecessor to that was a little bit lower sway bar and it did rub just a little bit on hard impacts. We'll get to the middle of the car and we'll show you the linkage. Of course, the linkage, the radio tray, and the battery box has been changed also. Um, a lot of new changes on this. Of course, physically with the body on it, you can't see it, but when you notice that the whole radio tray itself has been changed over, of course, easy open box with the molded transponder, and we're showing you the transponder in there. Of course, um, that one's upside down, but you could put it uh, right side up. Um, you can also have the choice, if you don't want to have the transponder on there, there is an insert that covers that block too, so that you don't have debris getting in there. So there's two options to that, um, of course. Uh, the battery box itself, you can use two different battery configurations along with LiPos. You can use flat pack batteries or hump pack batteries in order to fit into this radio tray. There's plenty of space in there for wiring, receiver, transponder if you just want to put it inside. Also the antenna itself is spring loaded so that if you do have a longer than normal antenna, um, in case of a backward impact or so, this spring loading antenna right there will help you out in a better situation from snapping off the antenna all in one. Uh, the switch also is also located in the back now. Of course, the switch itself um, is, a, is a better safety feature back here rather than on the side from when it was hard and difficult to get to. Now it's easy to, to get to with the, with the body already cut out, so it's no big deal, but it's really nice to have it in the back now. The brake linkage and the throttle linkage itself has also been revised. Of course, you're going to notice here that it has an air filter mount that holds it in place and the linkage itself, it has more of a swivel and more of an adjustment for the front brake along with the rear brake. So now you'll be able to adjust two different settings on the brake versus one from the Hyper 9 where it was only one for the rear itself. The radio tray, if you're looking at the radio tray, is already carbon fiber, but now it has been moved over just a little bit to the, to the right to fit the new chassis brace that runs all the way down to the center of the chassis. So no more mounting on top of the radio tray itself, the radio, the, the CNC brace now will go all the way down to the chassis and make a, a way firm chassis. So anything that's going to work on the suspension will be all its shock work and suspension work that's going to go into that. Uh, we get back over to the engine side and we'll just, it's almost the same basically. On the left hand side, of course, the pipe itself um, is the hyper pipe. And then this is a hyper engine that we put into it. The fuel tank still remains the same along with the fuel filter and so does the air filter assembly. The only thing that changes on here between the two is the center differential. The center differential becomes a spider differential and so does the front. So there's a lot of power changes, upgrades on that, including the brakes themselves. Um, they are CNC brakes, but with new ceramic brake pads um, that offer better stopping power along with the rear suspension to work with this. So this is what we got. The Hyperstar 1A scale Nitro Buggy, ready to go, ready for sale, and uh, out to your local hobby store. Thanks for watching. This show has been sponsored by rcdeal.com. So remember, rcdeal.com for your RC auction and web store needs. It's rcdeal.com.